And now on to Eat Smart Today and how to give in to your cravings without putting on those pounds. If you've resolved to lose weight this year, dietitian Tanya Zuckerbrod of SkinnyAndTheCity.com mm -hmm. has some news for you. Come on over, Tanya. How are <laughs> Hi, you? Tanya. Happy right, New Year you? to you. Thank you. The tables, especially just around this time of the year, are just full of all kinds of foods. And you're saying we can just make basic choices and yeah. really do a lot of good for ourselves, right. right? Well, as you noted, that this is the time of year everyone resolves to start a diet. Yeah. Yeah. And a few weeks later, what happens? They're off of it. Mm -hmm. Why? Because most diets are really hard to stick to mm -hmm. because they demand that you cut out all your favorite foods. And then, you know, you might do it for a few weeks, but then you then go back, back to your old foods and you mm -hmm. gain and do back. more damage. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They said that most people over the holidays between November and Christmas and New Year's will gain between, what was it, five, five and ten, ten pounds. You Correct. said that last time. <laughs> so you're going to help us uh, yes. try to lose some of that. And what I really want to show here is that if you're really craving something, you know, if someone's craving a burger, you don't then give them a chicken breast. We want to keep the flavors consistent. Okay. okay. But by shaving off 100 calories every day off of your caloric intake, you could lose 10 pounds in one year. 100 yeah. calories. 100 so calories? it makes a yeah. big like difference. one bag yeah. of m and or something. Okay. Exactly. All right. right. Let's start here with fries. Okay. I love regular Typical traditional fries. Typical yes, fries. you do. And you order them every time every we're time. out, even though them. we're all trying to be good. She orders them. And then it's yeah. one, and everybody right. else well, starts. Right. It's my master plan. Well, <laughs> maybe once you hear these numbers, you might change your thinking. 600 calories. 33 grams of fat. In this? In that. Well, a larger portion, but, uh, you know, in French fries, a two-cup large serving. Instead, if you were to do sweet potato fries and bake them, but still bake put them. some salt on so you're going to get the crispy, salty flavor, 200 calories and wow. virtually no fat. You're saving over 30 grams of fat and 400 calories. And they, they can taste okay, but you have to bake them. Yeah, you can't and if you them. leave the skin on them, you're going to get that boost of fiber plus beta carotene. Okay. okay. All right. So that's a smart choice. Now we have a bagel and cream cheese. Are horrible in calories. Oh, they I know. They are Huge. really calorically dense, and yet so many of us grab them because it's a quick, easy breakfast yeah. on the go. But when bagels have more than, with the bagel and cream cheese, has more than 700 calories and that's, 18 that's grams of fat. 713 calories. That's more than half of your needs for the day oh, for many women. Wolf, okay. A much better, healthier option is to get a whole grain um, English muffin, muffin and put peanut butter on yeah, it. That's good. Now, this like is organic peanut this? butter. Regular. 160 calories and 16 grams of fat. So you might think, okay, huge calorie savings. So this was over 700. This is only 160. But the fat seems similar, yeah. 18 versus 16 yeah. grams yeah. of fat. The difference is cream cheese is saturated fat. That's what clogs your arteries that's and increases good. your risk factor for peanut cardiovascular disease. Peanut butter is monounsaturated, which may even good lower stuff. cholesterol. Okay. All right, so if you're going to go for the sweets and you've got two choices, the pecan pie right. and the pumpkin. And most of us have seen a lot of these pies mm -hmm. over the holiday season. Yeah. Here we go, pecan pie, mm. 530 calories. It's, it's, but it, there's and, a reason for that. And 30 so grams good. of fat. Okay. Yeah, and pumpkin pie is great. It's a, it's a much better alternative. It's 340 calories and 15 grams of oh, fat. Oh, so you're cutting the fat in half by eating the pumpkin pie? Correct. Pumpkin I could put some of that low-calorie uh, Miracle Whip on it you or something like that. You know what, that's like such that. a great, great idea because if you were to do a scoop of ice cream, that's another 200 calories, yeah. but two tablespoons of whipped cream is 50 calories. Yeah, so that good. really would even you know boost the flavor for that without okay. having to sacrifice too many right, calories. In the pasta department, I know wheat's the best, the best yes. alternative wheat pasta well, and nothing this I kind mean, of mac cheese, and cheese I mean it's an all time favorite but mm. two cups 880 oh. calories 40 grams of fat and that's saturated fat there's no fiber in here it's you should be ashamed carbs. of yourself for just <laughs> existing instead for the same portion for the same two cup portion we can do this bowl of whole wheat pasta and you're still going to get the cheesy flavor because we even use two tablespoons of parmesan cheese so it's going to be saucy and cheesy and yet you're able to save you know, tons of grams of mm -hmm. calories in fat. Isn't mm -hmm. it true about the cheeses that you want to eat a hard cheeses, not anything that's soft? Mm -hmm. and, yeah, that's true. If it's, spread, if it's spreadable, it's, it's not edible. It's stronger flavor. Yeah. Two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese is around 50, 70 calories. Yeah. So, not bad. No, all not right. bad the ice cream department. Okay, so this is a perfect example. If someone's craving chocolate mm -hmm. ice cream, I'm not going to say have a fruit cup. Yeah, that's not going to no, resolve yeah. that chocolate craving. And when you don't hit the craving, all that happens is that you think about think more about and more it. and then you yeah. end up binging. Yeah, so. so rather than... 270 calories of a high-fat ice cream. We switched over to a sorbet, which is 130 calories. Okay. Okay, and you're saving. This has no fat. Sorbet is fat-free. See, I would, have, I would have thought by just looking Switching at them that that was the most too. caloric. Well, because it looks, of the, it looks the more richness dense. And then you could even add some berries, and you'd still be saving calories compared to the ice okay. cream. Just real, we can only do this really quickly, but the champagne, you're saying this is a don't, This is a and this is a do? Well, we know that mimosa. champagne and red wine are your two personal favorites. Mm -hmm. So, hold on. Instead of a champagne, by adding just a little bit of orange juice, you could save 25 calories calories and oh. you're getting because of the of the juice versus the oh, alcohol okay. uh -huh. and you're getting a slight boost of vitamin C and potassium
potassium. Okay. And Kathy Lee, instead of this glass of red wine, mm -hmm. which obviously is high in antioxidants, we're saying make a spritzer. And people don't realize you actually can make spritzers with red wine. Oh, sure. So they by do. adding some seltzer and mm -hmm. some ice, look at how much Beautiful. more volume you're actually getting. So this drink will I like last the longer. Volume. I like on the volume. I like the concept. Right. So last longer and fewer calories. Tanya, thank you so thank much. Thank you. Great Happy advice. We appreciate it. Thank you. Happy New Year.